Everybody, it's Sound Thatch here from SanMayPro.com. And today I just received my new Z axis uh, stabilizer for the Osmo. Now, the only problem is when you get your Z axis from DJI, it only works for your X3 gimbal camera. Now, I like using the X5, so it doesn't work if you just buy it from DJI and try to make it work. It's just too heavy. The X5 is just too heavy for the Z-axis gimbal. So what you have to do is you have to go to Home Depot and change the spring. So that's what I did on this one. As you can tell, I changed the spring so now it works for your X5 camera. So here's a tutorial on how to change the spring on the Z-axis to make it work for your X5 camera. I have a disclaimer. Do this at your own risk. If you mess up, that's on you. Okay, with that said, here's the tutorial on how to change the spring for the Z-axis. All right, so the first thing you have to do is take off the screws with an Allen wrench. It's a two millimeter Allen wrench. Take off the top one where it's closest to the top. So unscrew one side. All right, so after you finish one side, uh, go ahead and flip it over, and then we'll work on the other side. Again, you're using a two millimeter Allen wrench, and just be careful because once you unloosen this screw, it's gonna pop. All right, take it out. All right, so you can see it's pretty. Uh, uh, there's a lot of tension on it, so you just. Um, uh, use the tension screw to untighten it a, a little bit. Now there's another uh, bar. This is a rod that has the top spring on it. So uh, take that out. Now remember, uh, once you loosen it, the spring is going to go freely. So I recommend using a plier and just uh, pull on it. So that way you can pull out the little rod. All right, like that. And, uh, all right, there you have it. So you got the top uh, spring loose. Now, uh, before you go to the second step, I do recommend uh, uh, putting a little tape. So uh, I, I recommend using electrical tape because um, it's a little more sturdy. All right, so measure how far you have to um, cut the tape because you'll be placing it. Um, there's a little strip of wire that's gonna um, Basically, if you cut that, it's not going to be able to work properly. So you want to cut a strip and then cut it to the um, the width of it. So you, as you can see, um, it kind of messed up part of it, really. So I do recommend uh, using a you know duct tape or electrical tape, um, so that way you can uh, try not to hit those wires. Because if you hit it, then your gimbal is going to be useless. All right, so now that we put the tape on, let's take the bottom part uh, of the spring. Now, there's a little E-clip that you can pull out. I use a um, dental uh, little picky thing, and I just pull it out, and then using a plier, you pull the E-clip out like that. Now, to get the bottom uh, spring out, you have to be careful right here because um, you basically have to pull that little rod up. Um, now there's little room for it to move, so um, once you pop it out, the spring should uh, go out like that. All right. So uh, now you use the spring that um, you can buy at uh, Home Depot. I have a link below, so you can click on it and get it. Remember, it's the uh, one and a half uh, spring, not the two and a half. All right. So to put it on, you have to move that little rod. Um, as far as you can uh, out of the way. Um, it takes a little finagling. Uh, you have to, I don't know, I, I use my finger and like uh, the, the tip of the flathead to move it out. And then you gotta make it as big as possible that it will allow you to do. So that when you um, uh, push in the little end of the spring, it'll just pop right in and then it's locked. So what I have to do is uh, push the rod back into place and then uh, put the e-clip back on. Now the way that you uh, replace the e-clip is by using a plier and just holding it on the end. 
what you're gonna do is um, just push it um, as firm as you can back onto a little groove at the end of the rod okay so push it like this all right now I'll recommend using a little uh, screwdriver just to tap it and make sure it's in all the way all right so the bottom part is secure now here comes the hard part so what you have to do is um, uh, the little rod that was on top you have to get it ready uh, because the tension of that spring is pretty strong so you want to pull it with a plier and then push the rod in place now it it's going to be slanted because uh, tension so what I use is my finger and just move it towards the hole align it with the hole and then using the Allen wrench tighten it back up and there now the spring works so now I loosen it uh, back up because uh, if the, the bottom part wasn't um, aligned just loosen it back up now all you have to do is align the top part and place the screw back in all right so once you align it using your allen wrench uh, tighten it up make sure you don't tighten it too much you don't want to strip the the head and then replace the other side all right so after you tighten up you can test the tension you see how much it's a little bit more firm all right so there you have it that's the tutorial on how to change the spring for your uh, z-axis to make it work for your x5 camera my name is Sam Thatch from sammaypro.com I hope this video is helpful and uh, hope that you like it please like subscribe or leave a comment below thank you guys have a great day